Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just put in the serrations. I think the notches are good enough. I don't want to mess with it too much. On this one I'm going to put very fine serrations on the edge. sharpen the barbs now when the real artifacts these serrations start large at the bottom and then get progressively finer toward the tip I think it would be easier if I had a larger flake, but uh, we'll make a tool like that in one of the future videos, a little bit larger than this. I know in one of my much earlier videos I had a stone flake attached to a handle, but the flake kept rotating in the handle. So this is this is good enough.
And this flake is heat treated also. I just grabbed it from the debitage pile. It's important to have something rigid underneath because as you're pushing down these ears can pop off or that tip can pop off very very easily so that's why I keep something rigid underneath that's rounded so that when I'm applying pressure I don't get the pressure in the opposite direction from the pad These serrations are kind of all over the place, but sometimes the real points had a very erratic serration, so that's fine. I can see better with the black pad. Although it's not as comfortable. running into seven minutes, so I want to put a needle tip on this. But I'm afraid to break it, so I'm not putting too much force in here on the edge. The uh, material on the tip is also a little different in consistency. So it's actually harder than the rest of it. I'm going to stop messing with it here in a minute. It's already eight and a half minutes. expand that basal notch just a little bit more. And we'll just call it good. And the first one is smaller. Basically the same shape. If I wanted to I could try to drive those notches here a little deeper by expanding the notch. I think I could do it with this flake, but uh, we're just going to leave it like that.